Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you some inexpensive room decor ideas. The first thing that you are going to need for these projects is some type of jar. I have a bunch of different jars here. I am going to be using some mason jars, a cookie jar, and an apothecary jar. This first jar that I'm going to be using is actually a cookie jar. I found this at Walmart. You can get it in the kitchen section. It was right under $5, and if you guys are thinking that we're going to store cookies in this, we are not using it for storing cookies today. We're actually going to be using this to do some room decor. The next thing that you're going to need are some fake flowers. I picked up these pretty pink ones again at Walmart. I ended up getting two bunches of them, and these were only 97 cents each. Now we're just going to go ahead and pull the flowers off from the stems. These flowers are kind of cheapy so they pull right off. If they don't pull off, if you buy more expensive flowers, you can always use a pair of wire cutters. And now we're just going to go ahead and keep pulling them off until we have filled up our jar. Also keep in mind that you don't have to fill the entire jar up if you don't want to. You can add as many or as little flowers as you like. Another idea you could also do is using different types and different colors of flowers to add a little bit more interest. Once you are finished, you can go ahead and add it to your room. I think these give a really nice pop of color. I like using mine for a bookend or sitting on top of some books, but you can use them anywhere you like. Another thing I love using these cookie jars for is storing my makeup. If you guys have seen any of my vanity tour videos, then I'm sure you have seen this sitting on my vanity. I just love the way it looks and I love having my makeup displayed and these jars work perfectly for that. For this next idea, I'm going to be using one of these apothecary jars. I picked this one up at TJ Maxx and this one was also right around $5. If you don't have an apothecary jar, you could also use this idea with a cookie jar or a mason jar. This one is super simple. All I'm going to be doing is taking a couple of my Victoria's Secret travel size products. I have a lotion here and a mini perfume and I'm just going to add them into the apothecary jar. And that is it. Like I said, this is just a super simple idea. I think they look really nice stored in these apothecary jars. It just gives it a little bit more of a fancier look than just having them sitting out by themselves. For this next project, I'm going to be using an old candle jar that I cleaned out. If you do not have an old candle jar, you can use pretty much any type of jar that you have laying around the house. Next, you're going to need some beach sand. You can either buy this at the craft store or I'm not sure if you can take it from the beach or not. Where I live, people have sand in their yard right down by the beach and they have signs saying that you can take it for free. Next, you're going to need one of these little votive candles. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere. I think I got this one from Walmart and it was either a quarter or 50 cents. And you're just going to go ahead and stick it about halfway down into the sand. And that is it, we are finished. Now you can go ahead and leave it like this if you want. I decided to add some of these little baby shells. I bought a pack of these at Dollar Tree for only $1. I feel like this just gives it a little bit more of a cuter beachy look. This next one is another super simple idea. All you're going to need for this one is a small mason jar or any type of a small jar. Now we're just going to go ahead and fill this up with pens, pencils, markers, pretty much anything that you would like. And now you have yourself a super cute and inexpensive pen holder for your desk. For this last project, you are going to need one of these bigger or regular size mason jars. Some fake flowers. I recommend buying a little bit of nicer quality flowers for this one since we're going for a more realistic bouquet effect. The flowers I'm using here are from Walmart and these nicer ones were only $2 a piece which I actually didn't think was a bad deal because I feel like these have a really nice realistic look and I love how the stems also look real because a lot of times the stems can look really fake. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you next time.